السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم On behalf of Markaz Sahaba, the voice of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, we present to you lesson number 2343 of our daily nasiha and advice. Today, with the grace and mercy of Almighty Allah Jalla Wala, we focus on the 28th of Ramadan. Mustafa Habibuna Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Ayyu mamra'atin wada'at siyabaha that you ladies who remove your clothing fi ghayri bayti zawjiha not in the house of your husband but in front of other ladies, other men and they can see the parts that must be covered faqad hatakat sitra ma baynaha wa bayna Allah she has destroyed the covering which was between her and between you must remember all might Allah Allah Ta'ala gave a woman natural haya, shame, modesty, morality. But when we go and flaunt our beauty in front of haram places, then Allah Ta'ala's curse is on them. Now as we come nearer to Eid, so what do we see? Everybody is busy. That everybody means 90-80%. <laughs> Let me check my Eid loads out. How it is? Is it correct? Is it this? Then the wife, the daughter, the son, the husband, everybody wants to be in trim, slim, tip-top condition. The Salaf is salih, the pious people used to say, Laysa al-Eid, liman labas labis al-Jadid. Eid is not for those people who wear new clothes. Innam al-Eid, liman khaf ayom al-Wa'id. The true Eid is for those people who fear the day of the warning, the day of justice. Lays al Eid Lamin Lamin Liman Rakibal Mataya Lays al Eid Liman Rakibal Mataya Eid is not for those people who come with their fleshy fleshy cars and means of con- conveyance in Namal Eid Liman Tarakal Khataya. The true Eid is for those people who have shunned their sins. They must not commit their sins again in future. That is the real meaning. Lays al Eid, Liman Shariba wa Akal. Eid is not we just eat and drink and so forth. No. Innam al Eid, Liman Akhlas alillahi al Amal. Eid is for those people who sincerely continue with their deeds and actions only for the love and pleasure of Almighty Allah. So don't wear such clothing, my sister. That way you'll be revealing your body. You'll be exposing so many things. Instead of getting the rahmah and receiving the mercy of Allah, then we expose ourselves to the la'nat and the curse of Allah. Similarly with you men as well. May Almighty Allah envelop us in His mercy. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.